Welcome to this tutorial on how to take an impression. The clinician has carried out proper infection control measures and is about to begin. Hi, this is Pia. Today we're going to be taking an impression. The first thing we do is we explain to the client what we're going to be doing to allay any fears. Okay. Hi Veronica, today we're going to take an impression of your ear so you can have some ear plugs because of your, for your husband snoring. Um, this is a quick process. What I do is I have a look in your ears, then I put a little plug in there, and then I put the impression material, which stays in your ear for around five minutes. Feels a little funny, but doesn't hurt. The first thing I do before I take an impression is perform otoscopy. Uh, first thing I do is have a look behind your ears to make sure there's never been any operations uh, or mastoidectomies. If, there's, if that's the case, you're going to have to have a ear, nose, and throat doctor pack her ears before we can take an impression. So I found out she hasn't had any operations, so now I'm going to have a look inside her ears, and what I want to do is to make sure there have been no infections or there's no pus and the, hear, the ear is looking healthy. Um, I'm also looking to see where the eardrum is positioned so I can put the otoblock in properly and to have full coverage of it. Now I'm going to put in the otoblock to block it so it doesn't, and I put it in here gently and slowly. Next thing I do is have another look in her ear. It's fine. First thing I do is I clean my hands with either soapy water or hand cleaner. So now I'm going to just take one part of the colored mixture, impression material, and one part, white part of the impression material. Mix it thoroughly. One part is the catalyst, which hardens the material. And what we need to do here is just to make sure there are no white bits, that it's all blended in very well to be one color. In this case, it would be a light green. And I just fold them over and over. Until I don't see any white bits. Put the impression material right into the syringe. You don't even have to use your fingers if you don't want to. It's, it's all a matter of taste. And then you're ready to syringe. Score it out a little bit. And then put the syringe all the way to where the foam block is, and stay into the concha, and then start moving up, but always stay in, in the pressure material, don't go out of pressure material, and there you go. Okay, to see if the impression is ready, I just put my fingernail in there, and it doesn't give, so I know it's ready. So then what I do is I just pull on her on her pinna just a bit to release the lock and twist it forward and pull it out. And there you go. And now I'm just going to have a look in her ears to make sure there are no impression materials left in her ear. Yeah. 